Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Today, John and I are going to wax poetic on what, John? <laughs> We're waxing poetic on me, Art? Yeah, well, wax on, <laughs> wax off, right? Well, that was back in our day, right? Uh, I'll, fill, I'll fill in the blank. We're okay. waxing poetic on Labor Day. Oh. Now, Labor Day is gone. Right. We're already in now. This is a, not quite officially the fall, but we're there. Right. But the important thing is that you and I had a great Labor Day. Did we we ever? went to Cinecon. Mm. Cinecon. Great. Manny's been telling us about this for a year. And we finally went with him, videotaped lots of interviews, kind of <laughs> great stuff. And it really is a unique event. I really I I was very impressed. It's it's um I won't say that the films they show are necessarily obscure, but they are rare. They are hard to find True. film. Um, and the screenings were terrific. The speakers, they have a speaker before each one. Just, you know, they're experts in their field. And they and Manny, for instance, Manny introduced a rare film, almost never seen, um, of Spencer Tracy, one of his first but that, And that was digitally remastered and covered, star. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, are you okay? I am doing fine. I had a, very, a Wait, long drive weekend Luggan. up in Hollywood. What's in that carafe? Uh, That's what I want to know. Not, not whatever it is, it's not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, there was a whole section on uh, something that we barely remember from our youth on kaleido uh, uh, kinescopes. Oh, kinescopes! Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the way that they recorded kinesc- stuff on. Well, they got to preserve some of the stuff that was done on early TV. Early TV it, would be long before videotape or right. digital video. Um, and, and you know, they're fascinating. One of them I saw was uh, the Betty White show. Mm. Wow. And she was she was probably 25 years old. Right. And she was a sunny, she was stunning looking. And, and it's, it's wonderful that they were able to preserve uh, yes. some of that uh, stuff. I remember uh, uh, the Ernie Kovacs saying some Ernie Kovacs early morning yes. show uh, th- yeah. that was preserved yeah. that way. But very few uh, have survived from the really early days. I don't know why. Well, one of the programs they had at uh, Cinecon was uh, silent films. Hmm. And um, they had, uh, I, I can't remember the speaker, but we'll get into it over the next 13 weeks or so. Right. We will we will present every Friday another interview that we did with Manny and some of the speakers there. Uh, and I have to say the speakers at Cinecon were all um, uniquely experts. Right. They, they were, there were some very impressive people, authors and um, historians. We had a great time. And of course, the films were wonderful. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to bringing our viewers um, all these videos that we did, all these interviews. Yeah, and also, I, I think you alluded to it before, that uh, they weren't just, uh, although we did have uh, some uh, celebrities who appeared in some of these films, uh, and they were wonderful. They're just uh, and Most of them are in their 70s, maybe one yep. was or two were a little bit older, but they were all vibrant, and uh, they were fresh and young. Yeah. And you would think that other than there's a little bit of age on them, uh, that they're the same as they were back in the day that they made the movie. So well, well, not quite. But <laughs> but you know what? I, I it's wonderful to see them. Yeah. Um, when you consider how many stars from uh, even the fifties and sixties aren't around anymore. Right. But so, also some of them uh, have. Uh, we interviewed uh, one person who uh, works for the Library of Congress and is helping to archive and restore these things for the Hollywood uh, Heritage Museum. Yes. So there are a lot of interesting stories that are coming oh, out. Oh, you know, and I think that's what made Cinecon different than, let's say, TCM or other film festivals. Um, it really is a, kind of a, a, a more of a historian's um, a, a, a interest to people who appreciate the, the obscure, the hidden, the the stuff that hasn't been around for a while. Um, there were plenty of soundy films, you know. I mean, plenty of talkies, right? And uh, plenty of great films, but they're all a little bit hard to find. 
And the real the, ma the real magic, other than the two of us being there, and obviously we're magnets for all these thoughts of who want to be recorded on Celebrating Act Two, was we had our good friend Manny Pacheco with us, who uh, some of the some of the interviews we we were just lucky enough to grab somebody, but Manny knew everything that needed to be known to <laughs> interview them because he knows all this stuff, and he I, was I just know. great if, interviews. If you of, ever need to go to a any kind of a film event. You want to be with Manny. Bring Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Go with Manny. He knows everybody. Yeah, so it was a great time. He gets us in everywhere. We hope you all had a great Labor Day um, and with the family, and we had uh, some of that as well. Uh, but uh, that was a highlight of... Uh, I actually, uh, the Cinecom ran for five days, so we were there uh, over the Labor Day weekend uh, catching that right. part of the uh, festivities. So yep. a couple of weeks from now, we'll start releasing them, enjoy them. And yep. we know that you'll enjoy them as much as we enjoyed uh, filming them. Yes. So look every Friday, look for uh, another Cinecon video with Manny on uh, Celebrating Act Two. You you're going to enjoy them, really. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.